Constitution of the State of California of 1849, Article 1, Declaration of Rights. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Article 1, Declaration of Rights. Section 1. All men are by nature free and independent, and have certain inalienable rights, among which are those of enjoying and defending life and liberty, acquiring, possessing, and protecting property, and pursuing and obtaining safety and happiness. Section 2. All political power is inherent in the people. Government is instituted for the protection, security, and benefit of the people, and they have the right to alter or reform the same, whenever the public good may require it. Section 3. The right of trial by jury shall be secured to all, and remain inviolable forever, but a jury trial may be waived by the parties in all civil cases in the manner to be prescribed by law. Section 4. The free exercise and enjoyment of religious profession and worship, without discrimination or preference, shall forever be allowed in this state, and no person shall be rendered incompetent to be a witness on account of his opinions on matters of religious belief. But the liberty of conscience, hereby secured, shall not be so construed as to excuse acts of licentiousness or justify practices inconsistent with the peace or safety of this state. Section 5. The privilege of the writ of habeas corpus shall not be suspended unless when, in cases of rebellion or invasion, the public safety may require its suspension. Section 6. Excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor shall cruel or unusual punishments be inflicted, nor shall witnesses be unreasonably detained. Section 7. All persons shall be bailable by sufficient sureties, unless for capital offenses when the proof is evident or the presumption great. Section 8. No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime, except in cases of impeachment, and in cases of militia when in actual service, and the land naval forces in time of war, or which this state may keep with the consent of Congress in time of peace, and in cases of petty larceny under the regulation of the legislature unless on presentment or indictment of a grand jury, and in any trial in any court whatever the party accused shall be allowed to appear and defend in person and with counsel, as in civil actions. No person shall be subject to be twice put jeopardy for the same offense, nor shall he be compelled, in any criminal case, to be a witness against himself nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. Section 9. Every citizen may freely speak, write, and publish his sentiments on all subjects, being responsible for the abuse of that right, and no law shall be passed to restrain or abridge the liberty of speech or of the press. In all criminal prosecutions on indictments for libel, the truth may be given in evidence to the jury, and if it shall appear to the jury that the matter charged as libelous is true, and was published with good motives and for justifiable ends, the party shall be acquitted, and the jury shall have the right to determine the law and the fact. Section 10. The people shall have the right freely to assemble together, to consult for the common good, to instruct their representatives, and to petition the legislature for redress of grievances. Section 11. 
all laws of a general nature shall have a uniform operation. Section 12. The military shall be subordinate to the civil power. No standing army shall be kept up by this state in time of peace, and in time of war no appropriation for a standing army shall be for a longer time than two years. Section 13. No soldier shall, in time of peace, be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war except in the manner to be prescribed by law. Section 14. Representation shall be apportioned according to population. Section 15. No person shall be imprisoned for debt in any civil action on mean or final process unless in cases of fraud, and no person shall be imprisoned for a militia fine in time of peace. Section 16. No bill of attainder, ex post facto law, or law impairing the obligation of contracts shall ever be passed. Section 17. Foreigners who are, or who may hereafter become bona fide residents of this state, shall enjoy the same rights in respect to the possession, enjoyment, and inheritance of property as native-born citizens. Section 18. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, unless for the punishment of crimes, shall ever be tolerated in this state. Section 19. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects, against unreasonable seizures and searches, shall not be violated and no warrant shall issue but on probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons and things to be seized. Section 20. Treason against the state shall consist only in levying war against it, adhering to its enemies, or giving them aid and comfort. No person shall be convicted of treason unless the evidence of two witnesses to the same overt act or confession in open court. Section 21. This enumeration of rights shall not be construed to impair or deny others retained by the people. End of Constitution of the State of California, 1849, Article 1, Declaration of Rights. Recording by Elaine Hamby in California.